and hello again everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. Um, this is going to be another short one and it's pretty short after the last one I released. Uh, the main reason being is that shortly after I left that last one and started the exploration run I was telling you about, um, my entire power grid crashed and I found a problem with it. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So I don't know what just happened there. I'm going to show you what I've done and or had to do and um, so you can learn from my mistakes. Anyway, here we are back at the back at our hub. Now one thing I hadn't done that I should have done before is I'm going to go over here and select the next milestone. Now that's going to need a bunch of plates, a bunch of rods, and a bunch of um, recording is my mouse just stopped oh, there it goes my mouse just stopped recording for responding for a second there I'm missing a need a bunch of plates which I already got I need a bunch of rods which I have it'll be all my rods and I don't have enough wire but I can get those also vehicular transport it's going to require a bunch more plates than I have cable rotors and modular frames but I've got all those things over here, so we're going to start by just collecting a bunch of those things so we'll have them. And I'm going to wait for my power grid to collapse in a few minutes. Just because I know it's coming. Okay, plates are over here somewhere. There it goes. I think that'll be okay. Um, now, while I'm up here, rods, I'm going to use some extra rods. Let's get three more of those. I'm going to need... I'll just grab another hundred rotors. That should be enough. Modular frames. Uh, I don't have too many, but I'll just grab another stack on here. And okay. Now everything just shut down overhead. So what I'm gonna do just to reduce the load when it comes back is these guys over here are pretty much have pretty much filled up their constructor downstairs. So, or their, not constructor, their um, storage containers. Man, my brain was not working there. Has pretty much filled up their storage containers downstairs, so we're not going to be able to store much more in them. So what I'm going to do is just, hello. What I'm going to do is just go over here, and I'm going to toggle these smelters off. So when they come back up, these two smelters won't be running. So we won't have an immediate power failure again. Now let me show you what happened over here. I need for to make the compressed biomass, or the biofuel I'm using right here. See, I get solid, 60 solid biofuel, but I need 120 per minute. These guys are only producing 60 a minute. Now, I have one over there using wood, which is also, which actually does 300 per minute when I have wood, but wood is not something I come across the most. Most of what I've been doing is leaves. So I set up two leaf generators over here, each producing 60, just so I could, um, have the 120 a minute. However, notice there's stuff coming in here 
there's nothing coming out here, even though these two mergers are connected. Here's the trick. They're not. That connected directly to there. Okay, am I full somehow? Okay, yeah, because I picked up a biomass. Here, you can have a biomass. What's in there? Played some runs. Eh. I'm going to need those in a minute. What do I want to do? Yes. I'm working without a script here. You just have to open up a little bit more space. Here's put a rod in there for right now. You put a plate in there for right now. Okay. Because I'm going to make that rebuild that thing so I won't need it for long. So anyway, what happened was the output from that was going nowhere, so I was losing like half my input. So, let's redo this and be more careful this time. I should have noticed that when I connected things up. Somehow I did. Okay. So those are now connected. These will be hauling 120 a minute. So that will need to be uh, in Mark 2. Each of these can get by with just a Mark 1. 60. And let's sneak that up a little bit. There. Okay. So that'll let things start running again. The problem here is that the guys down at the end aren't getting enough fuel fast enough. Now he has 200. So I'm going to take that 200, split it in half, and then just give him 100 back. Because he'll fill up pretty fast. How about you? You've got 199. We'll split you in half and give you 100 back. I'm going to do the same thing here. You've only got 181, fine. Here's another 200. Split in half. Come on, full. Okay, well, you've only got 71. How about that? Because you notice as we go along, these guys have lower and lower until I get to these last three, and they have none. Now that I've got my problem solved, with my um, splitter nut set up correctly, these guys down here will start getting fuel. But I just need them to run until they can get enough fuel to um, work. I think everybody should turn on when I flip the power switch now. If not, I'll have to go do some more power kills. Okay. We're now producing... Yeah, our production is now well above where we were. Our capacity is back to 390. Our production is at 322. So, okay. This looks like we're going to actually be able to survive this. So, but I'm going to be running through power a lot faster. Meanwhile, so we have a steady flow in here now. That's a steady flow coming up here. So yeah, we should be producing 60 a minute. These guys are only burning four per minute. And the ones in front that had like 100, you know, that's 20, 30 minutes from now before they're going to run out. So by that point, I should have produced enough more to fill everything up. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will solve all my issues. In the meantime, we're going to go over here and knock out some more um, milestones. First thing we're going to do here is I've got a hundred of those, I've got six hundred of these, and I've got... I forgot to pick up the rest of those. Oh well, we can go do that now. Too bad I didn't remember it ten minutes ago when I was over there, but, you know, we're fine.
Now the screw storage that's down below is almost full. I strongly suspect that, okay, it's over here. It's one of these, I think it's the one in the middle. Yeah, that sheets. In the end, yeah, there we go. Need 1,500, so let's just get through. Milestone reached. The Xeno Basher is a direct upgrade from the Xeno Zapper. In the words of the engineer that first developed this tool, quote, the Zapper kind of electrocutes things, the Basher straight up smacks stuff, while also electrocuting them, unquote. It is beneficial during encounters with aggressive fauna and has been tested thoroughly. The engineer's noble sacrifice for Xeno research will not be forgotten, whoever they were. Yes, I am. Glad to see that um, fix it remembered. Thing. Okay, um, go to Zener Basher. I need two of these things. I need another Zeno Zapper. I already had one. And now I have two. So let's build a Zeno Basher. Because we're going to start encountering bigger, deadlier critters fairly soon. And the advantage is. Also doing that is I got an extra hand slot. <coughs> Excuse me. Got an extra hand slot there. So we can go pick up the, um, the chainsaw again. So remember I left it sitting over here. For space. So, just did that back. Now, I am going to pick up my um, portable miner that was sitting here, because we're about to do something. Go over here and make a second one. Because I'm going to show you the little bit of exploration I did get done. We did find something useful. So, and we're going to need that, well, when the pod comes back. Uh, should I wait for the pod to come back or just go ahead and do that now? Yes, we'll do that now. This vehicle transport, the advantage of it is it's going to give us three more inventory slots. So we may as well get that. And I have all of this stuff actually on me. I just can't... Um, deliver it yet because the pod's not back. But I hear it coming in now. See, it's right there. Let's just go in, add all this stuff. Alright. Milestone reached. Tractors permit pioneers to move around the world in a manner similar to using legs, except with wheels and the rapid consumption of natural resources. They can also be automated to self-drive and deliver resources between truck stations, which in turn facilitate automation of loading, unloading, and refueling. Okay. 
So that means we have now completed tier three. We're gonna need tier four next. The problem with tier four is everything in tier four requires some amount of steel parts. And I can't get those yet because I obviously haven't built a steel mine yet. I'm gonna go with um, advanced steel production as my first because that lets me have a minor Mark II, which will make us much more efficient on our mining. And we'll have to rebuild the factory again, but hey. In the meantime, let's go see what we found over here. See, everybody's green now. So our power grid is semi-functioning now. Over here behind our concrete factory. And we're going to take this little path up this way. This lead, is this what leads up to our... No, this is the one that leads to my um, space elevator. I need to go up the next path. I wish I could just put up signs. Let's say, this way, idiot. Okay, now we're going up this way. Or this is still not it. Nope. See, we wind up in this little narrow canyon here. This is bauxite, which someday we will use that for making aluminum. I think it's weird that Ada doesn't mention anything when you do this. Usually every time else you mine something, she has a comment to make. She doesn't seem to care about bauxite. Okay, just get that out of the way so we'll have it. Go on this narrow little path down here, and along the way, we can find some outcroppings. I think I just ran past it, but also down here we have a plasma splitter, our first one. Thank you, Sam Asher. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth, and only turns volatile when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to mine this stuff. Unknown crystalline mineral collected. This mineral is composed of the same chemical elements as quartz and may yield similar industrial functions. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Okay. Now, unfortunately, all we have here is impure quartz, but we can at least do something that'll at least give it to us. Now, I want to run over here. There's more over on that outcrop there, if you notice. It's impure, so we're only getting 30 per minute, but it's better than nothing. And we're going to do a lot with quartz as soon as we get this unlocked. There's this outcrop down here.
Now the other nice part about here is if you notice right up there, there's a yellow power slug up there. So we're just going to cheat to get to it. We're going to just build a bunch of stairs. Because we can just disassemble these when I'm done. I just went too far. That looks right. The thing you have to realize is if you think you can't reach something in Satisfactory, you can't. Because you can build things anywhere and you get it all back for free. I mean, there's no downside to it. Um, there's no downside to just um, spamming buildables and then destroying them when you're done with them. So if there's a power slug or anything like that that you just really want to get, but don't see a way to get to it. There you see we got the power slug and there's nothing left. Okay, let's go over here and grab what we got. And we need about 300 of this. I think I can get away with a lot with 280 if I remember correctly, but um May as well grab all we can. And I did run past the outcropping when I came in, so we can stop it in on the way out. Surprisingly dark in this little cavern, this little crevice here. Yeah, there's the one I missed on the way in. That's another 500 anyway. Did you see we're getting kind of low here? So. Let's go up to the, um, get back up to the man and do a bunch of research. Oh, I'm going to need a bunch of cables, if I remember correctly. How many cables do I have? Not enough. I'm going to need a bunch of cables. Let's go grab a bunch of cables. Also, oh, there's another crystal. Oh, how long has that been there? Okay. Let me get five so I'll have a thousand. I 
think that'll be enough for what I need to do, but if not, well, we know where they are. Search our spitter. The remains researched belong to an organism that tends to nest near objects emitting specific types of resonance. Spitters are called as such due to their ability to create and spit plasma across long distances. Spitter remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Now, we don't have any stingers or hatchers yet, but what we do have is this. Six more inventory slots, that's why I needed a thousand cables. But we don't have any alien protein yet. Alien technology, we have a new nutrients, we're still waiting to find a barrel nut. Power slugs, we have a yellow one now. Now we just have to wait and find a purple one. Research completed. Yellow power slugs are further into their life cycle than blue power slugs, and thus have more potential energy stored. They can now be processed into power shards. Well, let's start here. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Okay. Now we need to research silica. Research completed. Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. And we may as well do this while we're here. Research completed. Quartz crystal recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Now then, what we want is this. Blade Runners, because that lets us run a lot faster, which means we can cover more ground, we can also survive further falls. This is also useful, because it gives us six more inventory slots. But I need 250 um, silica in order to do that. I think I've got enough to do it. So let's just go over here and start. Yeah, I can make 300. So let's just start here. And we're just going to sit and watch this click for a little bit. sit here while I was doing this. I do need to go pick up another 200 cable. <coughs> but I think taking the time to build all this manually right now is going to save us a lot of time both an increased speed and maneuverability and the increased inventory size.
So that's all of that. While I'm standing here, I'm going to grab these two, these guys. And I said I was going to wait, but I'm going to go ahead and turn all of them into alien protein because we need that right now. I'm not going to put them into a DNA capsule yet. We're going to start by going over here. I know there's more things I need to do. Why did you pop up? Okay. I can go ahead and research this. Blade Runner is unlocked. Equipped to run faster, jump with greater force, and decrease fall damage that might otherwise have lowered your value to fix it. Right. I love how concerned they are about us. We're also going to get this, because that will give us another six slots over here. And there we are. Okay. Pocket dimension now extra dimensionalized with additional dimensional capacity. You worked on that a long time, didn't you, Ada? Okay, well, we're going to go over here now, now that we have the ability, and we're going to make one of these. Great. And now we can equip these. May as well equip that to get it out of my inventory. And, um, now we're a lot faster. Now I'm going to need some cables. So let me go grab some cables. And I'm not sure how much you can tell, but yes, this is definitely faster than we were moving before. And that jump distance is a lot further. I don't know how many cables I'm going to need, but hopefully that's enough. Okay. around that up there before I fall off or something. Okay. Now I want to go back over here and research alien megafauna because I want to go here. I have six proteins. I only need three. Another six. Pocket dimension significantly expanded. I worked all afternoon analyzing the transdimensional confibulatory permutations of alien DNA to achieve this. We are all doing our part for fix it. Ada, I watched. It took you three seconds. Now the next thing I need to do is I want to work my way down this list because I need the rebar gun. Unfortunately, I need five. DNA capsules, and right now I only have three. Why is that often going to be unlocked by the game? Right now I only have three alien proteins, so I can't unlock the rebar gun yet. But that's going to be high on our list. So I'm just going to store this stuff for now. And here we are. We've got our power grid back up, we've got a bunch of research done, and um, we got a bit of a growing problem with our power grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here again. Like I said, I, this was just a cleanup thing, but we fixed our power grid, we unlocked a bunch of stuff in the MAM, and we finished off Tier 3. Yeah, I think that was time to set. Anyway, we will... I'm going to probably offline just run around and get a bunch, bunch, bunch of um, biomass just so I can feed that, um, keep that um, power plant running. And then we'll maybe eventually try to figure out how to get coal and set up coal power. So until next time, I am Dennis. I am the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you later. <laughs>